Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is lonely, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat thinks he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. That's everything loaded. We'll be on our way, Mrs. Goggins. Come on, Jess. <gasps> oh, Jess! That's Ted's parcel. It's the engine parts he ordered for the boat. He's working on it today. Right here. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. Come on, Jess. Bye, Pat. Oh, good morning, children. We're going to help clean up Pumpkin Stable. Amy said she'd take us riding in return. The manure's a bit smelly, but it's worth it. It's marvellous on plants, too. It helps them grow up strong and tall. I bet Amy wouldn't mind if you took some. What a good idea. I'll ask Ted if he'd collect it for me in his truck. Perhaps Pumpkin would like these in exchange. <laughs> He'll love them. Thanks, Reverend. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Ted? Are you there? Ted? Ted? It's no good, Jess. He can't hear us. We'll have to go aboard. Now, is everyone happy about what they're doing? Oh, yes. We're mucking out, putting new bedding down, topping up the food and water, and grooming. I was going to say grooming. Great. Let's get started. Right. I'll do the water and food. While you two... No! We should do the mucking out first. But then it'll take longer to get everything done. No, it won't. Yes, it will. What? Will? What? Will? What? Why don't we just get started so we can ride pumpkin? I'm going to start grooming. Oh! Ted? Meow. Are you there? Oh, hello, Pat. Ah, me parcel. Hold this a second, would you? I... Oh. Meow. Oh. Meow. <clears throat> Ted? Ted? Permission to come aboard? He's in the engine room, Reverend. Hello, Pat. Ah, Ted. Hello. I wonder... Pass that over, would you, Reverend? I'd ask Pat only his hands are full. Certainly. My word, it... It's heavy. Oh! Watch out for the... Rope. Oh! Ooh. There. No damage done. Except that we're floating away. Oh, no. Who'd 
dear. Bill, it'd be quicker if you took the wheelbarrow into the stable instead of sweeping the manure out here. You'd be quicker pouring that feed straight from the sack instead of doing it with the scoop. Well, I'm the quickest of all, because mm. cause I've nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, this is all my fault. Don't worry, Reverend. I'm sure Ted'll have the engine working soon. Oh! <coughs> Are you all right, Ted? I am. The engine's not. Oh dear. Oh. We really are adrift, then. And as I caused it, I shall go for help. Wait! You can't swim. Never fear. I shall bob to shore in my life jacket. Oh, it's quite a long way away, isn't it? Which is why I think it's best if we all stick together. Hmm, perhaps you're right. You've all done a fantastic job. Thank you. Can we go for a ride now? Of course we can, Bill. Oh, I want to go first. Why should you be first? Uh-oh. Because I'm better at riding horses than you two. Says who? Anyway, Amy will choose me first because I'm so good at helping. Oh! Charlie, <gasps> why don't you have the first ride? Hee-hee-hee. <laughs> Water. Water. Wait a minute. I've got a tin of pineapple chunks in the wheelhouse. We can drink the juice. Careful how you open it, Ted. Those lids can be very sharp. Aye. And add. Mm. Here, let me have a go. Hmm. Mm. See that scar? That's from opening a tin of sardines, that is. Put me right off fish for ages. I have one too. See? It's a rope burn from some rather over-enthusiastic bell ringing in my youth. How about you, Pat? You got any war wounds? I don't think so. All these years delivering post and you've never been hurt? Well, I do remember a badly sealed envelope once gave me a very nasty paper cut. Oh, a painful memory indeed. <laughs> hey, there you go, Reverend. Have a sip of that. Small sip, mind. We don't know how long it'll be before we're rescued. It feels as if we've been drifting for months. Just coming up for seven minutes, actually. Ooh. Looks like the wind's getting up. Ted, has the ship got a sail? I'll go next, cos I'm the oldest. No, that's not fair. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Is not. Is not. Hurry, let's get this sail into place while there's still a bit of breeze. Right you are, Pat. Whoa! Careful, Pat. Oh, the wind's dropped now. Then we should blow ourselves ashore. <laughs> not... not enough... not enough puff. Get your strength back with the last few pineapple chunks, Reverend. <sighs> Too kind. Do you know, I think that empty tin might be able to help us. There. Reckon that should be flat enough. 
See? We can use it as a paddle. Great idea, Ted. Now we can row, row, row our boat gently back to shore. What are they doing? They'll never catch any fish like that. I don't think they're fishing. Pat? Ted? Pat! Reverend Timms! What are you doing? The engine's not working. We can't get back to shore. OK. I'll row out in the dinghy and tow you in. I think you're going to need a bigger boat. Can you get a long piece of rope? You could row it out to us, then pull us in from shore. Hey, that's a good idea, Pat. There's plenty of rope in my workshop. OK, I'll get it. How are we going to pull them in? We, we, won't, be, we won't be strong enough. Don't worry, Charlie. Hmm. I know someone who can help us. Who? <laughs> Pumpkin. Got it. Well done, you two. Now, I need one of you to come out with me to throw the line to Pat and two of you to stay here with Pumpkin. Are they tying the rope to Pumpkin? Are you sure you don't want to go in the boat, Mira? No, no. I'll stay and help Charlie with Pumpkin. OK. <laughs> Swabs, prepare for body, be hearty. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Bill! Oh. Sorry. Over to you, Pat. Uh. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Amy. OK, Mira. Walk on, Pumpkin. <clears throat> Come on, Pumpkin. <clears throat> Come on, Pumpkin. <clears throat> Oh, no. Follow me. Come on, Pumpkin. Mm. I know. Hold his bridle for me, Charlie. Huh? Good thinking, Mira. everyone. I thought we were going to be stuck there all day. I can finally get on with delivering my post. I'm so sorry. If I hadn't been so clumsy, we wouldn't have needed rescuing in the first place. But if you hadn't given me that apple, we wouldn't have got Pumpkin to move. <laughs> so in a way, you helped rescue us, Reverend. Aye. So don't feel bad. All's well that ends well, eh? <laughs> <laughs>